I made a discovery this morning. This is next to the Black Church on 448. This is the slough that crosses through our land. This is river water. All of Jane and Matula's land on 961 Rancho Grande Road is underwater. And this is the direct runoff from over there that comes down the ditches. So I'm gonna hike out behind the house and check this out. I'm starting my hike down to the slough to see the river water. And look at all those egrets right there behind the house. These are Terry's new black cows he just got last week, or last weekend. Or maybe it was like three weeks ago. I don't remember. Anyway, they're very friendly. They're all over here seeing if I'm going to give them something to eat. They're out of luck. I keep sprinkling ambro in the yard, and they think that's food for them, I think. There they go. This one right here is chilling. Don't you worry, I'm just going to walk around. You don't have to get up. Okay, don't worry. Number eight. Huh, I cannot believe that cow stayed there when I walked around her. Very relaxed. Anyway, there's all the egrets over there on the water trough. So, stay tuned for the slough. He was worried about me walking down the slough, I think, but I've got a bunch of friends coming with me. Better be nice. I'll whop you. Getting a drink. So, I've had cows follow me when I'm on four wheelers and in the truck and whatnot, but they don't normally follow me when I'm walking. I can just reach out and practically touch this guy. One foot away. You better be nice. Dig it. They're just convinced I've got something for them. Look out. I don't have anything for you. Anyway, they're right there behind me. Let me know if they charge. I don't think these are the kind of cows that cause trouble. Hoping I've got a snack for them. Slow down, slow down. There's the bull. <laughs> you guys are crazy. I might have to take another route so you don't follow me the whole way. I'm gonna cross over the fence up here. I feel like I should keep recording just in case something happens. Number 25, what are you doing? I have never seen a cow do this before. This is weird. And number 46 is grumbling at me. Number 16. <laughs> yep. Yeah, don't number 16. You got a cold? You got snotty nose? Oh, number 19 is busting in. Oh, back to eating. <laughs> There's another route I could go, but I'd be walking through the mud. I'll take cake up on my boots and I'll wear out, so I don't want to do that. I don't know. They're just going to follow me up here to this one little fence. I'm in a different pasture now. Other cows are way behind me. These are older cows that have been out here forever. Almost 10 years. Except the bulls. There's a big bull right there and there's a big bull right there. Those, those aren't very old, but... And the calves, of course, aren't very old, but the cows themselves have been around a long time. <clears throat> that white bull right there is freaking massive. Oh, that one's not a bull. I thought it was. Okay, but the white one is. <clears throat> but you see, these cows act different. They're not coming up around me. So I think those other cows that Terry just bought must, whoever had them before, must have come out and fed them by hand. So they see somebody walking and they think they're gonna get fed. These cows associate trucks with, and tractors with food. So I'm down at the slough. 
there's water in it. This is rainwater. I'm not at the section of slough that the river would cut through. It's, we got to go up here to the the Y where they come together. Another few hundred yards. It's damn wet down here. It's for sure. Damn it! You know I forgot to bring a gun in case I see a pig. This is turning into a bit of a challenge. Still quite a ways from the Y, and I can't walk along the side of this anymore. So I got to go through the woods, and the woods are getting thick and full of spider webs. So I got to get my spider stick. Anyway, this water is not is not draining off from the rain now. This is backing up from the other slough this way from the depth of the river water in it. So stay tuned. I actually ran into Josh Marek out here. I almost forgot the video. So here's the oak tree. Here's the haunted pasture. There's the house foundation of death. And uh, look at how deep this is. I mean, in the middle right there, it's probably eight or 10 feet deep. Let me go up here, grab my spider stick. Let's get a little slippery. So anyway, you can see right here, while Josh and I were standing here talking, a snake came swimming across. I'm pretty sure it was some kind of water snake. I don't think it was a water moccasin. So I was gonna go back through the hay meadow over there, but that ain't gonna happen. I can't get across this over there. It's all backed up too. So I'm started the trek back to the house. Over in that corner where is where the Y is. I can't really get to it because I have to. Well, you wouldn't be able to see it if it's standing in the brush. The water's too high. But uh, right here, you can see on the grass here how high it's been. It's probably dropped a foot and a half or so. But like I said, this is the Y that the river is not flowing through, so it's backed up this way. And down there. but if you look straight down here at the end there's some trees and that's where they the two branches of the slough meet so right over here is where dear cousin Glenn attempted to make a dam many years ago we had a big rain the dam washed out and the jerk accused me of being the one that knocked the freaking dam down the hell asshole Hell, what I do that for? Well, you could just take a shovel, cut a little notch in it. But why? Jesus. Anyway, a lot of water. A lot of water. So here's, here's where I just was right there. Here's the other side of where the dam used to be. See where the water used to be up to right there. So this is going down as the river's going down. It's down about a foot and a half from its crest. So I'm going to go back over here and go through the trail through the haunted woods. Man, I'm in bad shape. This was, I was in getting in pretty good shape when Alex used to come with me all the time because we'd hike around all over the place. No more. Whew. It's a little bit warm today too. So it's good the sun's out. Go dry it out, wet night. I'm going to lose my spider stick. 